Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. In today's video, I'm looking at some TWS earbuds. These ones are coming from Alpha and Delta, and this is the KS100 series. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Now I have two different models of the KS100 here. By the way, if you don't know, Alpha and Delta, they are coming out of Singapore. Uh, I did a few reviews for them a few years back and they kind of went quiet for a while. They are back in action. They've been concentrating on the TWS scene. So here we are. That's how we arrived here today. Now, this one in the gray case, this is a has single dynamic driver. The one in the black case is a hybrid unit with one dynamic driver and one balanced armature. As for the price, let's see, the single dynamic comes in at around $83 and the hybrid unit is about $99. You might have noticed that these charging cases are a little bit on the large side. For comparison, there's my Redmi Pro 5 that my dog has chewed on uh, case. So yeah, they are pretty chunky, but they are metal. They feel pretty, hear that? They, <laughs> they feel quite premium in the hand, but they are fairly heavy. So if you are looking for maximum lightweight portability, maybe this might not be a good choice for you. However, the upside of these large heavy cases is the battery life because, well, let's start with the earbuds. You get about six hours uh, standalone battery life for the earbuds. That's kind of average for a TWS earbud. There are some that do better, but six hours is pretty good. But with the charging case, you get up to 120 hours. Yes, 120 hours or five days worth of battery. So that is definitely an advantage of having these larger cases. All right, let's have a look inside at the earbuds. Now there are different colorways available for each model, but uh, yeah, here we are. So single dynamic here, hybrid unit here. Let's talk about the features. Uh, there aren't really any fancy features, but the touch controls, you do have onboard volume control and your playback controls and call of calls, of course. But yeah, no fancy features like active noise cancellation or touch control remapping. But let's have a look at these shells now. And they look like that. So pretty nice. They've got this kind of acetone design on the face plates and smoky translucent shells going on. Then the fit, they're like a pseudo custom IEM shell. The fit is a little bit deep. One thing that frustrated me a bit was these nozzles are just ever so slightly more, ever so slightly narrower than average. So for someone like me who needs to, generally needs to tip roll and use my own ear tips, that can be very frustrating. So as always, yeah, uh, you're probably rolling your eyes already, but um, the included ear tips far too small for my ears. So once again, I had to resort to my personal ear tip collection. Uh, the only problem is that with my own ear tips on, the things wouldn't fit in the case. I wish people would, I wish brands and companies would address this. I know, I, I, once again, I'm an outlier. I say this all the time, but you know, I mustn't be the only one. I'm sure there are other people with larger ear canals. So anyway, regardless. By 6000 BC, Greater Australia is no more. One seventh of its land, about 2.5 million square kilometers, has been drowned by the sea. Tasmania, once a southern peninsula, is now an island whose aborigines have lost all contact with those on the mainland. Let's get into the sound now. And... These, as you might guess, coming from like an audiophile brand, they have an audiophile tuning more so than your general consumer tuned uh, TWS earbuds, which are generally very warm, bass heavy and soft in the treble. 
these are what you might expect for you know a lot of chi-fi iems in that 100 sub 100 dollar price range so it's a lot more neutral although i will say the base definite uh, the base extension is very impressive on both models um let's talk about the difference between the two so the dd or the single dynamic version slightly warmer a little bit more bass emphasis and a little bit more body in the sound whereas the hybrid unit is slightly more detailed but it has a leaner sound signature and it is a bit more precise and brighter in the high frequencies or the treble now my personal preference would be for the single dynamic here i just like that uh, it's got a very natural cohesive sound signature and it's a, it's non-fatiguing as well so both models have got a nice snappy percussion good bass extension like i said um very much an audio fault tuning vocals are articulate and detailed as are mid-range instruments so you've got a pretty neutral mid-range with no added thickness or coloration it's quite a spacious and open mid-range with good spacing between instruments and nothing really to complain about in the mid-range at all and then the treble is crisp and precise especially on the hybrid unit which does have better uh, detail retrieval than the single dynamic and snappier percussion attacks as well they've both got a good sound stage better than average for tws earbuds and they both have pretty good imaging as well so if you are into mobile gaming for example these would be a good choice especially um you know considering the the sound stage the imaging and the sound signature which is leaner which is perfectly ideal or perfectly suitable for hearing footsteps in games if that is your thing so to summarize the alpha and delta ks100 tws earbuds audio file tuning large heavy case but very good battery life included in the case um, lovely nice pseudo custom shells nothing in the way of extra features but above average audio quality for a wireless earbud in this price range look how strong the magnets are in there hey have a look at that anyway guys I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it the old thumbs up Parfum audio file style. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. If you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon link in the description below. And until next time, I'll see you later.